In Everything Must Go, Will Ferrell departs from his normal comedic roles, but that's not to say the film isn't funny. Let's hear more from Will Ferrell and director Dan Rush. I'm nervous because it's a New York audience, but um, it's where you want to show a movie like this. So, And I, I, my whole family are all New Yorkers. There's a lot of rushes in New York here tonight. And uh, I lived here, and so, I mean, this is kind of the dream. You first hear that Will Ferrell is going to be in the movie. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I think who got him the script and how can we fix this? No, I um, no, it, it was something that uh, that my producers brought up as an idea, and I thought there's no way that he's going to want to do this. And then I went back and read the script with him in mind, and I got really excited about it. And then his people read it, and they liked it, and they passed it on to him, and he actually, I think, kind of fell in love with the script. And then we sat down, and we had very similar ideas about the movie. And uh, it ended up being the best thing that could have ever happened. He's super professional, um, a really great guy, like not just for me, but the crew and all the other actors. And um, I'm, it's like the perfect person to be in a first movie, to, to, to have in your first movie, because they can be tough experiences. Um, but just a great, it wouldn't change anything in the world. I play uh, Will's neighbor in this, and he's the kind of neighbor that uh, you really don't want to know too well. I got fired from my job, and my wife left me. If I'm honest, I saw this coming a mile away. Thanks for warning me. When you first heard you were working with Will Ferrell, did you have any expectations? Uh, uh, only of laughing, and, and I got to do that every day. It was kind of like working on news radio every day. You knew you would, when you came onto the set that you would, you would be having fun with... Um, an amazingly talented person. How's Time Warner Cable? Time Warner Cable's great, actually. You guys actually. are hanging in there? We're hanging in okay, there. good, good, good. How about you? This is a lot. I'm, hang I'm, hang I'm like the Time Warner Cable of actors. I'm hanging in there. Okay. Yes. That's good. Good to hear. Yes. So the script comes across your desk. It's a little different than what you've done before. Right. Um, similar to Stranger Than Fiction. Right. So you read it, and what did you think? Uh, I absolutely loved it. You know, I thought it was uh, such a unique premise, you know, the... the the idea of, of the fact that this, you know, here's this kind of, you know, everyday guy who's who in one day loses his job, uh, his wife leaves him, he's, he's locked out of his house, his credit cards are canceled, and uh, car is taken back, and all of his possessions are placed on the front lawn, and he decides to basically live on his front lawn and figure out his life. I just, I, I felt like I, I'd never read anything like that before. And, and I, I, you know, I thought it was just kind of a, a beautiful examination of, of you know, uh, uh, isolation and, and kind of the rebuilding of, of someone who's lost everything and figuring all that out. And I, uh, I just was dying to do it. We are in New York City. How excited are you to be here? Uh, oh. I thought we were in New Jersey. Um, yikes. Okay, that's. I'm glad you corrected me. Okay, that's a bit of a surprise. Uh, so we are in New York right now. We are in New York. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I thought we were in New York the whole time. That's why I was feeling so pumped up. Oh, because it's a big city. Yeah, because it's also a big city. And... No, New York's fine. I'll be fine.